So I talk a lot about transparent screensavers and how beneficial they are to my experience using e-ink tablets. It's the only technology that I know of that can do that. So I want to make sure that everyone knew how to enable that feature. If you have one of the platforms that I'm going to be covering today, which is basically books, the Supernote, and the Remarkable platforms. All right, let's get into it. How's it going everyone? Roger here, Roger About Tech. If you're new here, Welcome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. And uh, if you're not new and you're looking for a button to smash, then the like button should be right around here somewhere. Thank you. So like I said in the intro, we're gonna be talking about transparent screensavers. And you might be asking, what is a transparent screensaver? Well, you're in luck, we're about to get into it. So a transparent screensaver is a screensaver that continues to show your content on screen while your device goes into sleep mode, effectively turning your device into a low power sign which unlike our consumer market, which uses these e-ink displays for basically productivity and reading, the retail and institution sectors uses these displays for basically signage, where they use power to get an image on the display, but after the image is there, they cut the power, which they don't need power anymore, and they can put that device wherever they want to, many different sizes, many different shapes. It's a perfect use for e-ink, but moving on. This is a property of e-ink and is made possible because of the bi-stable nature of the technology. This basically means that because of the physical aspect of e-ink, which basically uses energy to move physical pigment around the screen, but once that pigment is in place, it doesn't need power to maintain its position or and therefore visibility. Now you might ask, what good is this process to you, someone who doesn't use these devices for signage, but you're using it as productivity and for reading? You come to the right place. This is advantageous to you, the user, for two reasons. One, it takes no input from you, and it takes little to no power to operate. But let's look at these two reasons in more detail. This process displays your information uninterrupted at all times, requiring only that you look at it to gather the needed information, effectively turning your e-ink tablet into signage that displays your info. No need to press a button to wake the device to see your information. It's just always displaying your information so you can see it at a mere glance. The time savings alone from pressing the button, reaching it, waiting till it comes up. I mean, all of that is just happening by you just absolutely just looking over at the device, got your information, go on with your day. The next point is it drains little to no battery. This goes back to the bi-stable nature of the e-ink. Once you move those pigments in place by putting the information that you want on screen, you can cut the power and that's just gonna stay there forever until you disrupt it somehow. But as far as it needing power or power to maintain its position and visibility, that's not the case with ink. Once it's in place, it'll stay there until it's refreshed. Now we're gonna go over the three different variations of a transparent screensaver that I've come across from what I like to call the big three vendors, Remarkable, Onyx, and Rata. Books, Supernote, and the Remarkable. And we're gonna start with the books platform. The books transparent screensaver kicks in once the device is in sleep mode. This can be done with a sleep timer or an induced sleep by pushing the button. The results are the same though. The screen displayed when the device has slept stays on the screen. This process takes up no additional power and keeps your content visible. Now let's talk about how to enable it. So you enable the feature by going to settings, or if you're on the Note OS, the app drawer, then you find the screensaver app or setting if you're on the tab OS. I'm on the Note, so I'm picking the screensaver app. Now I'm already on the transparent, but I'm gonna to flip to a different one just to illustrate the point here. So you're gonna flip over to the transparent screensaver and you'll see that it says transparent right at the top here. Now, this is the transparent screensaver that I have applied already. What you can also do is change some of the options you have down here. So once you're there, you can change the lock screen style, which basically adds a icon to the top here. And you can change the style of that icon at the top there. You can choose not to have an icon at the top there. I choose to go without an icon at the top. So the next customization option down below is a bottom status bar which is the one that I use. It's the most visible and tells me that I'm in sleep mode even when my information is visible on screen. So I chose a black backdrop for mine. You can choose a white one or you can choose none at all. So, and you push apply after that process. Once you do that, 
After that, you can just simply hit the sleep button and voila, when your device is asleep, you can still see that screen that you were on when you put it to sleep. So we're gonna go ahead and wake it back up and we're gonna go over to our note. Z, hit that. Bam. We have our note sitting there and we can do all kinds of other stuff. We can make, we can basically make our tablet a planner with our month just always displaying on there. Bam, just when I look at it, it's got the month displayed, it's awesome. So this is the kind of functionality you can get with a transparent screensaver. Now let's talk about the usefulness of the transparent screensaver on the books platform. I think that the transparent screensaver on the books platform is probably the most useful. It's very useful. The feature can be enabled directly by the button press or automatically by your sleep timer but either way, it's super predictable how this device is going to act and when it's going to do it. And like I said, the ability to just initiate it yourself by pushing the sleep button is super awesome. The next thing is, it's displaying your information by using no power, making an efficient system in the sleep system way more efficient because you don't have to continually hit the button to turn the device on just to see your information, turn it off when you're done. It's just there on the information that you want to be present and visible. And if you don't want it there, you can always just turn that off or change the information to something else or just have an actual normal screensaver. So next up, we have the Super Notes variation of the transparent screensaver, which they call the no load shutdown. This no load shutdown shows you your information on screen in a low power mode after 20 seconds of inactivity. That's assuming you don't have the auto sleep timer set. You enable this feature by going to the settings, which we'll do here. After the settings, you'll go to battery. And in this battery menu, you will see no load shutdown right here. You go ahead and turn this slider to the on section. And they say here that if there is no activity for 20 seconds, the system will be in a no load shutdown state. In this state, if the device is woken up by pin down, and the pen down speed is fast, there will be a slight delay barely noticeable in the first handwriting. Essentially, tap the screen first before you go to let the system know that you wanna wake it from this no low shutdown before you actually be prepared to start writing whatever you're writing. So what about the usefulness of this no load shutdown? Well, I don't think it's as useful as the transparent screensaver on the books platform. And here's why. The no load shutdown state just isn't as efficient as a sleep mode. The difference between the power that it drains while it's in sleep mode and the difference between the power that it drains in the no load shutdown state is about 2% after one hour. That's not a lot, but when you consider that the books platform's sleep mode drains the same amount of power that it does when it's in transparency mode, then you start to notice things. And after eight hours, you're gonna be missing 16% of battery. It starts to add up. So you do get some battery savings with the no load shutdown, so it's not totally useless, but it's just not as effective as a sleep mode. The second thing is you don't get any indication that you're even in the no load shutdown state. When you're in the no load shutdown state, your screen looks the same. There's no icon that says, hey, it's in this state, letting you know you're actually saving battery life. Um, there's nothing to say that. So it's kind of like, okay, I can trust that it's up and working, but how do I actually really know? The third thing that keeps it from being ultimately useful is the fact that you can't initiate this state yourself. This process is initiated by a 20 second timer and that 20 second timer alone. And you have to have your sleep timer off. That's another consideration. So if you do have the no load shutdown on and your sleep timer kicks in, the device is just gonna to go to sleep after whatever time and the point for you having the no load shutdown would be lost in all of that. So. I think it could be implemented a lot better on this platform. It does work and it's not as bad as I initially thought as far as the battery drain. It just seemed crazy, but definitely not as efficient as it could be, but definitely useful. All right, so our next and last platform is gonna be the Remarkable platform. All right, so this feature and variation on the transparent screensaver for the Remarkable platform is called light sleep. So light sleep shows your information while the device goes into a sleep mode after 20 minutes of inactivity. 
To enable this feature on the Remarkable 2, first you should enable your auto sleep timer. And you do that by going to the settings. And once we're in the settings, we're going to go to battery. And we're going to see auto sleep timer here. And it says, put your Remarkable to sleep after 20 minutes of an activity. You are going to go ahead and hit that slider and enable that feature. Now we're ready to set up the light sleep mode. And we do that by going back to the settings. And after settings, we're going to go to security. And at security, at the bottom of this particular menu, you'll see light sleep. And it says display content and sleep mode after 20 minutes of inactivity. This may reveal sensitive information. So definitely be aware of that. You're going to go ahead and enable this slider right here. And just like that, you have the feature enabled. So after 20 minutes, not only will the device go into a sleep mode, it will also display whatever information you have on screen. The thing is about that is you will lose that information on the screen after a certain amount of time. I haven't clocked that time exactly yet, but after some time, the system will revert back to its normal screensaver and will cease to show your information on screen. So now that we know how to enable it, how useful is it? I would say it's somewhat useful in between the books and the SuperNote versions of this particular feature. The downside is it can't be initiated by the user, which means you can't just hit the sleep button and initiate that light sleep mode. The next thing would be you have to wait 20 minutes before you can even go into this light sleep mode. So that's 20 minutes of battery that you're throwing out of the window uh, without the ability to initiate it yourself. You have to wait that every time or maybe some kind of timer that you can adjust to shorten that wait time to something a little more realistic. So like I said, it's somewhat useful and it's useful for viewing your information. You can see your information when it goes into this, this mode and you also get an indication that you're in that mode, unlike the super note version of this particular feature. Um, but it's not very considerate of your time by not having a button that you can initiate that mode yourself and the combination of having that 20 minutes there, not a very efficient system. Although you will be able to see your information eventually. All right, so at the end here, we've seen all of the transparency modes of the top three vendors, Rata, Onyx, and Remarkable. And I would say out of the three, the book's product takes the cake for me. You can initiate it by yourself, it can be initiated by the sleep timer, which can be changed by you, the user. You can set the device off timer to never, and it'll just always be displaying your information in sleep mode whenever you need it to view it. Um, it's just a really versatile system, especially with the, the customizable indicators that you have on here. You can customize those to let you know when the device is in transparency mode. Um, it's just a really, really well thought out really ingenious system to use a technology in a way that only it could be used. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm glad that all of these devices do it, but I would say that the books platform does the transparent screensaver the best, which is huge if you own one of these devices. Next up, I think would be the Remarkable. Um, and the reason I say that, even though it burns a lot of battery, even though it turns off after a while, it reverts back to the screensaver. It still is something that shows the indicator there, right? It at least lets you know that, hey, you're in this mode right now, you're saving power, although I am still showing you your information on the screen. I think that's clutch. Just being able to look at it and know that yes, it's in sleep mode, but I'm also being able to, to gather my information there just by looking over at it. I think that sets it above above, although very slightly above the SuperNote platform um, in that at least you know what it's doing. And also it's a sleep mode, just like the books product. So, you know, this, there's no accident that the sleep timer and the light sleep timer is exactly the same. So um, after 20 minutes, it goes to sleep and it shows you your information. So it's in sleep mode. Uh, with the SuperNote platform, which is what I think I would rate last in this particular category. Um, you don't get an indicator, you, um, which means you don't know if you're in that mode saving power 
um, you're not in a sleep mode when it does go into that mode. Um, so you're not saving as much power as you could be saving. And also you can't initiate this process. Something that's remarkable suffers from as well, um, but definitely it needs to be called out on the super note. So I would say it's the least useful when it comes to this process, though it can do it. Uh, it's not as useful as the remarkable is um, in that you can see it and also that you're saving the maximum amount of power you can save because it's doing what it can do to save that power in its sleep mode. And again, books take the cake to me. They they thought of everything on this particular one. So, all right, everyone, I hope you got something from this video. I just wanted to put this information out there. So if you didn't know the value of using this particular system, or if you didn't know it was even there, um, maybe this is a way that you can use it and think of using this system to view your information. Like I said, I have these things just kind of sitting around uh, displaying information all the time. I don't think I have any of them set to go off. Um, anymore uh, once I started using this all the time on all my devices so um yeah I hope this was useful for you if you liked go ahead and liked and if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe and um so next time take care